welcome to the Malama Kauai Kitchen and our Malama Kauai CSA cooking show. My name is Stormy Souza. Um, I work with Malama Kauai as a food access coordinator and the marketing specialist. And I'm really happy to be here with you guys. Kang Hei Fat Choi. Ni hao! I'm Whitney Miller. I'm a second grade teacher, so I taught earlier today, and now I'm super excited to be cooking beef chow fun and mm. local beef. You can call it mandu, pot sticker, gyoza, dim sum, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Meat and veggies wrapped in carbs. Love Delicious. It. Great, well, let's get started. Okay. And please participate. We're going to have some questions along the way. Uh, we'll have a competition midway. <laughs> Stormy was tired of losing, so instead of taking shots of gross things, we're going to have her do the dishes if she loses. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose. If. <laughs> we're going to do teriyaki sauce first. Everyone has their version and they're usually similar, but what's gonna make our special is our fresh orange juice. Mm -hmm. It is from our tree, so you can pour that right in. There's nice. no order. This is from uh, our tree outside. It's citrus season. All the trees are going off for winter time. One cup shoyu or amino acids. Yes, I like aminos if you're kind of watching your sugar or your salt intake and it's a little bit Remember wheat? Yeah. For if you're doing gluten free yes. too, yes. As opposed to like the regular shoyu or soy sauce. And then we have one inch piece of ginger grated. Ginger helps with your memory. Five cloves. I love Chopped. that. Chopped. Lots of garlic. Mm -hmm. When I make chili pepper chicken, this is kind of similar to the base I make too. So this is really versatile to all that good, mm -hmm. good local food. And then we have a third cup of honey. You yeah. can also use sugar. It's just going to sweeten it up. Yeah. I know ginger comes in your bag pretty frequently, the CSA produce bag. And then honey we sell sometimes too on the store. So, But local honey is the bomb for like an awesome sugar substitute. Nice. It's ready to go. You can use this for a marinade, dipping sauce, which is what we're going to do with it. Hello. What? I love it. Okay, we're done. That's all. Aloha. <laughs> no, <I'm just> <laughs> <laughs> so simple, five ingredients. And you, of course, you can add chili pepper, uh, sesame oil, midden, if you like. Everyone has their kind of spin. Nice. But that's the that's the base. Yeah. So we're gonna take uh, a cup of this out and use that as marinade. One of our feature products of today is this local beef. Mm -hmm. Local beef shares are now available on the store, and this is cool. We literally bought a whole cow, um, had our local rancher slaughter it, butcher it, um, and then put it up into all kinds of different cuts, right, that the cow provides, and then they vacuum sealed each piece and froze it for you. So we have, we got, we sold most of it, and then the rest is still in our freezer, still available. Um, I love beef shares because you kind of, you get a, a, a mixture, a variety, you know, not yeah. just ground beef. Okay, different beef, the bones, you could do the pho. Yeah. Sorry, I can't get over it. Does this cow, does the cow have a name, the one that you guys bought? Oh no. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> you don't name your Money. your your cattle, cause you cannot get the kind to My name. farm is farm to never table, sorry. I'm oh, just she's vegetarian yeah. now all of a but, sudden. But I'm not. <laughs> oh man, I know, I'm so torn. But it's better to know where your food's coming from as opposed to like, you know, where you don't from know. From Mexico, from California. And you're not sure how they treat their, their animals. Whereas here, we see them every day. We drive by their pastures. Bro, they look stoked. I would want to be They're a walking around. This is a sirloin mm -hmm. and it's like two pounds. So she's just slicing it. I'm gonna cut it. it thinly. Okay. It's kind of mush, getting mushy on you. You can flash freeze it for 15 minutes to give it a little firmness. Smart. I like that. Uh, then it's not just squishy. Squishy, yeah. Okay. I like that you're cutting it and then marinating it. So all the pieces oh, really soak I didn't in. think about that, but yep, that's why I did that. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna use my whole steak? Oh. No, I'm excited. Should I? Yeah. The recipe is one pound, one pound of beef yeah but, but we get big family yeah oh you can take it mostly like, all home so like both of our families combined right? yeah well, my parents are making steak upstairs too so <laughs> it's a beef night what are you guys making for dinner tonight first question of the night put mm -hmm. it in the chat box ow a little bit okay. but it's all good okay so that's gonna marinate like 15 minutes you can go of course longer it's gonna soak in more set that aside but and now we're gonna do our dumplings mm -hmm. we have our one pound of 
ground beef. I'm gonna take out the, the bloody juice. And you want a pan that has a lid. Yes. Because you're gonna you're gonna fry for a couple minutes, but then also steam. So you want that lid to trap all that moisture. Julie Shaw. So her husband is making chicken lollipops. Wow. I, Julie. That sounds good. I'm available for dinner. Um. How do you make it a lollipop? Leah. Hi, Leah. Mahalo for joining us. Which Leah? You're Leah. My Leah. Wow. Show. Hey, Leah. Right. What are you making for dinner, Leah? They're going out for Logan's birthday. Oh, happy birthday, Logan. Fun. Where Where's are you guys you going? going? And then Auntie Mel, my friend's mom made a traditional Vietnamese dish, rice, mung beans, and pork belly wrapped in banana leaves, boiled for six hours, fried when sliced. You like, Yum. you always win cooking things. I love it. I'm adding half cup carrot, shredded carrot, to your ground beef. This is the ground beef making the pot stickers. Half cup daikon, remember that's the white radish, looks like this. Um, when you, I'm using it and thinking of it as a substitution for maybe your white onion or your um, water chestnut that you might use. And it, when you cook it, it gets rid of that bitter, spicy taste. Any kind of veggies in here. We're gonna use the, the choy sum, which I got in my CSA bag. Ooh, that which is beautiful. So pretty, has these little Fla yellow flowers on them. <laughs> that's how you can tell that's choy sum because the yellow flowers and then these broad leaves and the stems almost are reminiscent of watercress. Water it's a little bit hollow and a little bit like yes. watery juicy. It's in the mustard family so it doesn't have that spicier taste but it's like the texture is a cross between like a cabbage and a spinach I'd say for the leaves. Look at how beautiful that is. Fran. It's a bouquet. Is that Anyone the one getting that you like? I'm just trying to be like an observer. She wants to put me to work. <laughs> Get to work. Did you guys see any like Chinese lion dances or anything fun? So she's chopping veggies. I'm going to put two tablespoons of shoyu. The only aloha ya. Kikoman is not allowed. Yeah. Now use what you guys like. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm not going to judge. We're going to throw in a half cup of the choy sum. You can use also kale or whatever watercress, whatever greens you have. Watercress. Sesame oil is one teaspoon. And the garlic and ginger going in. Yeah, and then I'm gonna do, you want me to use honey? Ooh, honey, yeah. And that is a tablespoon. Honey's so sticky. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Ginger. About another inch grated. Okay. So as you can see, these three things are using the same similar ingredients. Just, just taste good in Chinese recipes. And four cloves of garlic. Mm -mm -mm. Also chopped up. Yes. It almost makes it easier too when you're preparing because you're chopping all the things at the same time. Cooking different, yeah. It's also Olelo Hawaii month, which I really love. Pepe Luali. I love it. It's like two lip bursts and then it rolls off your tongue. Pepe Luali. I just put in a little bit of black pepper in there too. Okay, so this mixture is done and you don't have to use beef. Of course, pork would be great or a mixture with shrimp or vegetarian. You could do shiitake mushrooms or tofu. Yeah. So I've made one time before, which is just the triangle folded in half, but this way is so much, it's so pretty and so fun. So we have the Changwa Kam Noodle Factory Mandu Pea, but you can use the gyoza wrap. What you're basically looking for is a thicker wrap than the one ton ones and circle. Mokihana. Got it. February. Good yes. job. My cookie. So happy Pepe Luali, everybody. Happy February. Any birthdays this month? Okay, that one is, has a good personality. <laughs> and I encourage you to make this a family thing. If yeah. you have Ohana at home with you, wrap together. It's less daunting because this recipe it's makes 45 dumplings. I don't really yeah. want to... I don't know. I mean, unless I was like super cruising at home. <laughs> you had all your your friends, all your sisters, oh, the family over. Stretchy. Even kids could do this. They don't have to do the pleat way. I'll show you the simple way that kids can do too. These are huge. I can make some burrito size mangu. Some fatties. Yes. I think you wanted to compete too, yeah. I like did. who could wrap even... mandu quicker? A lot of cultures were saying have it. Japanese, Koreans have mandu. Japanese gyoza. Mm -hmm. Russians have one. Pierogi. Ooh. Pierogi, German, yes. empanada, Spanish. Oh, I would say lao lao for Hawaiian yeah. is, is the closest right. wrap. What is your favorite Chinese food? I know we don't have many options on this island. 
Pandas count? <laughs> but they're last night for dinner because it's Billy's favorite. Yeah. Orange chicken. Ah, Beijing beef. Beijing beef. But I like Garden Island barbecue a lot. They're always so quick. My fresh. brother always loved Garden Island barbecue. Yeah. Of course, Oahu. Gotta go to Happy Days for the best dim sum. No, it's in Kaimuki actually. Oh, okay. So we're gonna get a heaping teaspoon in the middle. Honey walnut shrimp. Ooh. Plop them all in one time. And you want to get a little bowl of water to wet your finger and wet, wet the ridge of the wrapper to help it stick when you close it. So we're going to do the style where you fry it a little bit and then you steam it off so it has that, it's crispy but it's also steamy. So I'm going to put a little bit of veggie oil or whatever oil you have. About a tablespoon just to give it a little crispy bottom. I love plenty filling. Good luck trying to close those. All right, so, okay, wet, wet the circle first. Oh. oh. So it gets like gummy. Then you can do the burrito in half. I know it's kind of tricky to see. And then you pleat, so you pinch and stick to that original pinch. Pinch and stick, pinch and stick, pinch and stick. And do the other side, repeating that pattern. You can see a video of this on the Malamo Kwai video about how to store your greens. I do a little video of that. But look how pretty, and I it looks like I spent a lot of time on that. I just pinched it. Oh, wrapping. Boink. So cute. Meow. All right, let's put that aside and make a few more. Okay, put your bets in. This is for our dishes. Who do you think is gonna make three, three dim sum quicker? To count, it has to be closed, no meat hanging out. Basically. <laughs> Who can wrap the fastest? <laughs> Ready to go! Whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> you can just pinch and gather. Okay, one. Oh, that one's like a lao lao. Leave it. <laughs> oh, ooh, that one's like a portage. I'm doing this style, you know, if kids are making this, they can just squish it together. I win. I was already done. <laughs> I was just waiting for you on the side patiently. I didn't want to ruin you. She made lao lao. Yeah, because we live in Hawaii. I love it. Lao lao dim sum. Woohoo! Beautiful. Bag. All right, so look how fast that is wrapped. So fun. You can make it, it was a really game with, with the kids or with your grown up kids. And you could totally just wrap it like you that. You just squish it. You do not need to make it fancy. You don't even need a steamer basket. That's what I love about this. Everyone has a pan with a lid. Mm. Don't need the whole bamboo setup. And there's gonna be a part of this where you don't want kids around when you're mixing oil with water. So I have one Olelo Hawaii word. This is new to us too. Hakui. Hold on, I'm like, don't want to spray you. Okay. Okay. Let us know what that means in the chat. Okay, we're gonna put these in for about two minutes. Give them a flash fry on the bottom. Two minutes. Got it. So I made a few uh, the other night. So I have. And I kept them in the freezer. I just put uh, you give a paper towel or, or uh, wax paper just to keep them from sticking to each other. Smart. I've seen cornstarch too. Cornstarch? Yes, yeah, so that will stick. Oh, and you then want it absorbs the, the water. Moisture out, huh? Oh, different type. This one will make it look like a shaka. Cute. Salmon so pinky. Oh. <laughs> Mokihana, mai kai, it's steam or to steam food. Hakui, good job. Mm -hmm. That's what we're gonna oh, do yeah. after we fry. Two oil, two minutes with water, one minute no lid. Two, two, one. So okay. that makes it easy to remember. And then you add water and put lid. Yeah, immediately, because you know what happens. You mix oil and water. Right, so this is when you kind of let your kids know stand back. All right, well, we got a lot of meat mixture left over, but we can cook that later. We don't need to make 45 in front of you. So this was what my dad said was the best thing I ever made were these uh, pot stickers. That's and cool. I made a lot of food for him. There's been a lot of misses, but I guess this is his favorite. Usually we use utensils, not fingers, for this part. I just wrapped them with my fingers. <laughs> I know, no, not for cleanliness, just for safety reasons. Raja. And that cherry sauce you made is also going to be the dipping sauce. So it'll double. Okay, get ready with the lid. Add a warm. <laughs> Call the fireman. Ah! Ready and whoop! 
Okay, now Ooh. it's gonna steam for two. Okay, what time is it? Six oh one. Oh, so, so quick. And this will be ready to eat in like two minutes. What so plate good. are we putting this on? This pretty leaf one. This was my grandma's. Oh, okay. Oh. Is that the chow fun? Okay. Just keep an eye on that. So we got our beef marinating. Have you ever made dumplings? 7-Eleven, is that the only place you can get some kind of for cash or steam uh, thing on this island? Where else can salt, you get it? Anyone know? Salt Pond Country Store. Oh, they have? Mm -hmm. But is it homemade kind or? Looks like it. Yeah? I don't know. Just kind of straight okay. most of the liquid. Most of the liquid, but I kept some to give it a nice coating. And then two tablespoons of cornstarch. That's going to help it get thick and give it a crispy coating when we fry that meat. Okay. going to do this in a wok, traditional style. Okay, so lid off. You never want to lift it away from you so the steam doesn't go into your face. Oh, that looks good. And you're going to let the steam rise so you get rid of most of that water for one more minute. And amazingly, the beef is cooked in three minutes through. Cooked through. Not half cup water, one fourth cup water. Mm. So we're making it extra steamy. It's okay, the water's like almost gone already. Sometimes you make mistakes in the kitchen and it comes out better. And sometimes you have to throw it away. I don't think we're not gonna to throw this it. away. <laughs> oh, that looks me. Do I wait till it's evaporated or can take you it? You can already out? take it out. I'm gonna use half the meat. We're getting up the pan of the wok for starting the chow fun. I think when that cools, we need to we need to eat that immediately. I'm I'm pretty hungry. She's so brown. Oh, nice, nice and golden, not burnt. That was fast, guys. You would think it wouldn't be this fast. All right, that looks so good. The um, noodle is kind of clear, so you can see through the to the meat and the veggies. It's really colorful, and it's holding together, right? Nothing yeah. is falling apart. No. Even the ones you even the ones that overstuffed somehow <laughs> stayed together. Auntie, come down and eat. Okay, so we want this to be really hot. I might have gotten too excited there. There's two things you want to remember when you're stir frying or, or using a wok. One thing is you want it really hot to get that umami flavor, that barbecue crisp. And the second thing is you want to toss it because you don't want to mush and mash your noodles. You want to use either two big spoons or tongs instead of like mixing Stirring. technique. Okay. I like that because they're tender noodles, which you want them to yeah. stay and you don't, don't want them to break apart. Thank you, cow, for your life. Giving us protein mm -hmm. and fuel. I was gonna say, maybe we have a longer life than you. Oh, Oh my gosh. Oh, I love how crispy the bottom is. Yeah, the bottom is. nice and golden. Pops all pleated. I'm trying to show you, it's hard to see. Mmm. Oh no. Whoa. Make these when you're hungry so it tastes super good. <laughs> oh no. Yum. Textures. Crispy, soft, meaty, chewy. And then the ginger comes through, the garlic. Mm. Perfect bite. Super flavorful. Doesn't need to be a poo poo. That should be the whole meal. Yeah. Ooh, hot. This and some poke. Oh wow. Yeah, a little surf Bring that to a party. You want to brown this, make it kind of blackened. Have it on high heat. Because you want it to like caramelize. Yep, get that umami, mm -hmm. savory barbecue flavor. Oh, that looks good. I love that. And then she sends me pictures and I get to see the reels and I'm like, I'm salivating for like a week. Ooh. So I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Thank you. I could not be doing this on my own. <laughs> That's what I do at in my classroom is having eight arms trying to wow. balance all the cakey. What you need? Um, Another bite? <laughs> right by the noodle in the Asian Asian aisle. And the directions say to pre-cook it, but because we're still trying it, no need. It'll get mushy if you pre-boil those noodles. Yeah, they're gonna be chopped into maybe thirds. Okay. Well, so you leave it big. I like it big because then you have a nice big bite full. And this green will down plenty. So yeah, they shrink. And then green onion you can use. Again, use what you look at broccoli, cabbage. Okay, we're at pandas. This is a good one to do outside. Yep, you're gonna have a nice steak smelling house. 
It is the year of the tiger for Chinese New Year. Anyone know if they're a tiger? Tigers are known for being really brave, they're determined, and they chase for what they want. So we all should have a little tiger in us. She's making fries out of the daikon. <laughs> Why not? I've seen weirder things. What do you guys like to put in your stir fry? Anything unusual or different that we should try? Healthy lifestyle is not just a cooking, it's staying active, taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. um, your mental health as well as your physical health. I think my brain shuts off and it's only hula during those two hours mm. because it requires so much focus that and I'm here with your dad. Yeah, it's like one, two, three, you four. You cannot be mm. thinking about your Zoom your meeting your list, or your, your, your shopping list. So what is the thing that you do that makes you shut off your brain that is healthy and puts you in the zone? Please. Okay, no particular order now. You can kind of just throw them all in. Okay. The noodles, the veggies. Let's just do it. And then some more of that sauce. Right half, about half cup. Okay, we're, we're putting it all together now. Same time, same time. Can we put green onion yet? No. Carrots. Got it. All of them in. Watercress. Like it shops. Ready. It's ready. Okay, and we're still on high heat. Okay, live cooking show. Here we go. Cilantro okay. now or later? Uh, cilantro fresh. It's like the flavor gets cooked out when you throw in cilantro. So here's this motion. You want to scoop from the bottom and lift to not crush your noodles. I heat. Steaming, cooking, all at once. And the choice some, you eat the flowers too. Ooh, I love it. Watercress, so good. This is so beautiful. Green, healthy. More noodle? More sauce? Maybe more sauce. Just kind of eyeballing. Meat. So inside here we have daikon, we have the choy sam, green onion, carrots, garlic, and ginger. So really flavorful and natural. No need salt. Because no, no need salt. Yeah, no, no, no. No more salt. Keep that sodium, the blood pressure low. Probably good. Those veggies cook so fast. Mm -hmm. Can turn that off the heat and kind of let the steam kind of rise. Cool. There you have it. Yum. We made our teriyaki sauce, our our chow fun stir fry, and our mm. beef pot stickers. All made from a lot of our local ingredients we uh, are found and grown here. And local beef. Very yes. Cool. You can totally make this from any of the CSA produce bags. We're super excited to let you guys know that. For the longest time, we had two separate websites, malamakawaii.store, and then we also had like kawailocalfood.com where restaurants, um, schools, hospitals would order from. So now we're gonna be soon, coming soon, merging the two sites and then being able to offer more to our family and residential um, for ordering and they can pack and pick their own produce bags. So you have more customization and everything does um, get accepted by SNAP and EBT when it comes to food. So you can look forward to that soon. And recipes you should have received in the email I sent. But yes. if you have any questions about them, we'd love for you to reach out. Let us know. You can email me. Um, and I share all your feedback with Whitney too because we love to mm -hmm. hear how we're doing also with this show and like how we can improve. Um, any type of feedback is always welcomed. Only two more shows too. Mm -hmm. So thanks for those who have stuck with us Thank from you. the beginning. Uh -huh. It would be really hard if we were just staring at a screen. So thanks for being here. Um, so February 15th will be our next show. But as always, support local. Mm -hmm. Take care of yourself. Malama yourself. Malama Kauai. Yes, aloha. Woo! So good. Another good meal.